Today, I have been invited to share with you some of my favorite books from when I was your age. These are fantastic books and I love to read them then and I still read them now. Any chance I get, I will always sit down and read them. That's why I have quite a collection of them at home, but I didn't bring them with me to Hong Kong. Now, these aren't just books, these are comics. Now you're saying, why am I suggesting comics? Well, comics are a great read, they're easy to read, they have fantastic words, fantastic stories, and they have great pictures to help you to understand what all the action is taking place. So not only are you learning things, but you're learning actions to go with them. Now, I see on the MTR, I see people reading comics on their phones all the time. So it's not just um, something that kids can read, not just teenagers, not just adults, but everybody. Now today, I want to show you my favorite books that uh, I've read when I was your age, and so now I want you to read them too. So let's go to the library and find them. Are they? Quid Argus? Ergo... Velua? Et tu? Oh? Sorry? You don't... Obviously you don't speak Latin. Sorry. I will use the language that we use in our conquered lands up north. The country you now call Britannia. Or England. I am Maximus Claudius Germanicus. I am the leader of the first division of Gaul and we are the mighty Roman army. We are here to conquer Gaul and we have conquered most of Gaul. However, in the year 50 BC, there is one, just one, indomitable village that holds out against the might of Rome and I am here to conquer that village. So please, come with me. Let's find that Gaulish, Gaulish village. Here, and the library is the English section and this is my favorite selection because here are my favorite books starting with small size such as Asterix in Britain here they go to Britain and they invade Britain and teach the British how to use tea to drink in the bigger size we have Asterix the Legionnaire that's me, a legionnaire, and he becomes a Roman soldier. Now the problem is, all of these books, they're fantastic to read, they're fantastic to enjoy, and they're full of interesting characters. However, very few are borrowed, which is rather sad, because they're great books to read, and everyone will love to read them. So now, I will take this chance to explain to you all the characters and all the fantastic storylines that they have. Now let's have a look at the Asterix PowerPoint that I promised. And to keep in line with Chinese New Year, we have lots of boars because we love to eat boars. So we got Asterix and Ob Obelix. Asterix is the small one, Obelix is the big one. Now the setting. Now the setting of the story, they all take place in France. So you can see Hong Kong on the right and France is on the left and it takes place in a tiny village in France, here. Now, at that time, France was called Gaul and just up in the very northeast, sorry, northwest corner is the Gaulish village that's holding out. So the year is 50 BC, Gaul, which is now France is entirely occupied by the Romans. Well, not entirely. One small village of indominable Gauls still hold out against the invaders. Now, the main characters. This one is Asterix, and this one is Obelix. The last one is Dogmatics. Now that's Obelix's dog. All right. Now, let's have a look at the authors and the illustrator. Now this is the author of the original series. His name is Re Rene Koskakany, 
Uh, he was born in 1929, but he died in 1977. He was the writer of the original series. He's always been a comedian. He had a life of history before he started writing these books. This is Albert Uderzo. He was born in 1927. He's always been an illustrator. He's always drawn for like newspapers. And so the two of them met up and they decided to start writing the series. The problem is he's colorblind. So occasionally he'll mix up the colors. And if you look at the old series, uh, some of the characters' colors actually change. And he's first, he, he was first just the illustrator. Now he's taken over as the writer after Rene unfortunately died. Now there are 35 books in the whole series and they are written into 115 languages. First of all, they're written in French. They're available in English, German, Spanish, Portuguese, Dutch, Finnish, Italian, Latin, Korean, Danish, Swedish, Turkish, and they're even available in Chinese. Finally, let's have a look at why I like them. Well, first of all, they're funny, and also the clever use of puns. They have puns all the way through. The best part is no one dies, not even the Romans, not even when they're bashed by Asterix and Obelix. And the, there's also the clever use of Latin jokes, such as Sic Transit Gloria Mundi, which basically means nothing lasts forever. And then there's the, the puns and the jokes that play on nationalities. Like when they go to Britain, they play football and they drink cups of water because they're yet to learn what tea is. And then finally, the clever use of the different texts to show the use of language. Welcome back and I'm glad you've enjoyed this little walk through the Asterix series. As you can recall, they're a great series of books to read. They're fantastic comics and you'll love them. And they're great adventures full of action and excitement. And the good thing is, no one dies. So, I suggest you go to the library now and start to read them. You'll love them, the English teacher will love them, and when it gets to your DSE, you'll remember all these fantastic actions and put them into your exam. So thank you.